Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next Avatar news update video. Nothing too huge to cover here, just a lot of little updates on things. Um, first up, uh, another delay for a book. Uh, this time a book that was expected to be out today, but uh, I guess about a week or two ago it got a release date change. Uh, the Avatar Last Airbender cookbook is now coming out on the 23rd of November 2021. So it's never great to see a book get delayed this close to release, given that it's had the November 9th date for quite a while. Um, but I, I noticed this myself, like I have a pre-order in for this book and I hadn't heard anything in the last few days about it shipping. Usually they do ship it out before the release date, so uh, I sort of knew something was up. And so yeah, sure enough, uh, release date has changed on this book. But do be aware if you are considering purchasing this book that there is going to be a gift set version of the book that comes with an exclusive apron um coming out uh next year june 2022 so if you want the deluxe version of this you're going to have to wait until next year so just be aware of that uh, on a similar note you'll note that uh, we're looking up all avatar books here where is the shadow of kiyoshi paperback uh it's not here and if we go over to the abrams books website you'll note that both the Rise and Shadow Kyoshi uh, only have the hardcover versions up on the website. No paperback versions here. So I think the the lack of the Shadow here and then both of them here probably highlights that they are just similar to, I suppose, what's happening with Beast of the Four Nations while they're sorting out a release date for these books with release dates far enough into the future. They're just putting them on, you know, postponing them indefinitely until they have a... They're much closer to when they're actually planning to release them. Obviously, the funny thing about this was that they set a 2024 date for these books. Like, we're still in 2021, and they set a 2024 date for these books that had already been hugely, hugely delayed. Now, I understand why they did this. Uh, a paperback re-release of these books when you'd already just done the hardcover box set uh, really wasn't necessarily needed. Obviously, the paperback version is kind of nice to be out there, but I understand shipping crisis, paper publishing crisis, um, you need to focus on the new books rather than reprinting books that have already just been reprinted. I get it. Um, but it is interesting to see that this is what happened, that we're expecting like a new novel at some point um, and it to come from Avon's books, but it's just interesting to see that the Shadow and Rise of Kyoshi both didn't really have too many delays themselves, but all the extra products sort of have, which is kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, that's just something to note. Next thing, uh, Nickbox has finally revealed one of the items in the Avatar The Last Airbender subscription box. So the first item here is going to be this Avatar The Last Airbender Boy in the Iceberg uh, scene snow globe. Pretty cool, very on theme for the book one water box, uh, you know, representing this cool scene for the first episode. Uh, it's, a, it's a, I think, a cleverly done item. Um, very, like, representing a scene from the show, very nice. Um, it just doesn't make me super excited, just because... Look, cool because this one is shipping out to be there for Christmas, and so Snow Globe, it, it's kind of fitting in that way. Um, but... Just the way it's done with the uh, with the characters just sort of printed on the the kind of clear plastic, uh, just makes it seem like a little bit kind of kind of cheap looking and that like it's not like you know actual representations of the characters. It's just like screens from the show edited onto them. Uh, it could have been done better, but it, it it's it's cool enough. Um, for me, this obviously doesn't make me be like, oh, I need to get it now. The item I really want to see them show from the box is the figure that's going to be part of, I guess, a set of four at least for these first four boxes. Uh, they seem to do that for all their other boxes, have some sort of a figure. So I'm guessing they'll do the same thing for Avatar. They kind of teased it with the silhouette on the website without really showing much of it. So I hope they show that before um, the, the box. Uh, you can't order the box anymore. But the interesting thing is I got the email about this less than 200 boxes left now i don't know the numbers and that like is this good or bad like did you only have like 500 boxes did you only have a thousand like how many have you sold and how, how big of a number of that is the amount left 
But still, 200 seems like a relatively small number for, I guess, something that is quite popular. Um, so I just find that very interesting that like they managed to get so many sales on this without showing a single item. If there's any example of how much Avatar hype there is surrounding like anything Avatar, it's probably the fact that they nearly sold out without showing a single thing. That they only revealed this first item here when they're saying that they only have 200 boxes left. Like they basically didn't need to spoil anything uh, pretty much. So um, that's super telling. Uh, Obviously, I'm more one to wait and see what's inside. Uh, again, I, I I hope I at least get maybe an opportunity to see what the figures look like while they're still in stock. But right now, I think I'm leaning towards I probably won't be getting this just because I think with the amount of customs and extra shipping fees I'd have to pay to get the box here, it'd be basically double the price. It just isn't worth it for anyone, I think, outside of USA and Canada to really get these unless... Um, you can have someone get it to you for pretty much close to um, the US price. Even even for even shipping from Canada, like with how high the shipping cost is, it seems a little excessive. So um, I hope they can work on that. But, um, you know, it's cool to note there's going to be some unique items. Uh, this is a unique item, even though it doesn't overly impress me. Um, but just to be aware that like they finally showed off something that you're going to get this plus at least what six seven other items uh one of them's likely going to be a figure um another one's likely going to be a t-shirt of some sort or a hoodie or something like that uh plus a pin at least and then a few other things so you will see we'll see if they have more spoilers to show off but uh for the most part that's been the news but then it's kind of becoming news just in and of itself the fact that we are we know we are waiting for comic announcements they have communicated enough to let us know that there are announcements for dark horse books that are avatar and core related coming soon but these things have still not happened this stream where they said this quote here that you can see in the picture was one and a half months ago it was like what september 23rd uh, this year and here we are on November 9th and still no sign of any of these things. Dark Horse have not announced any new books. What's going on with this? What has happened here? How can you say that announcements are coming very, very soon and then like six weeks pass and there's nothing? What is this communication? Because it's one of those things where like typically they don't communicate. But then they finally communicate and say something that gets people honestly excited and then just don't deliver on it at all. What What's what's going on? Um, clearly, there are books that are in progress that they can announce, but just for some reason aren't. A lot of this comes down to the fact that there's so many things we don't know. We don't know where these announcements are coming from. Are they... Are Dark Horse going to reveal it themselves? Is it going to be IGN, e e uh, EW, uh, CBR, or, you know, the rare thing of like, are Dark Horse going to announce it themselves? Is there something special about these announcements because they're potentially going to be the first batch of books sort of post Avatar Studios? So is there something special related to that? Because that's kind of almost what it feels like. Or is the reason that a lot of this is delayed uh, because they're building up to some sort of a mega publishing announcement where they announce a lot of stuff at once? Because you'll note what what is said there is that she says, no announcements, plural, today, but some, as in multiple, are coming very, very soon. So what what's, what's going on there? So, you know... Obviously, when we, we, we've done this before, we've gone through the list of like, there's books that they need to announce that aren't super exciting, like uh, other omnibus editions, uh, the other, the, the book for Korra art book reprint, um, things like that. Uh, even say Suki, the Suki Alone, Toph and Katara comic uh, hardcover collection, which is probably going to be a thing. They're all books that we are expecting that would technically be announcements uh, of new books, but they're not the new books that we're actually looking for. Uh, so 
there's still the the room for some of these very very soon announcements like even if we do get some new books for them not to really be the books that we're looking for but i think you have to interpret this as being the finally a new avatar finally a new core comic announcements but again wh wh what's going on why say very very soon and then it's still a month and a half later because when you say very very soon i don't think it is unfair to say that that means less than, like within two weeks even that feels like it's stretching like capital very very soon like the word soon just on its own i'll give you basically maybe a month and a half maybe two months at a stretch in the business sense of the meaning as it is typically used just because like so often not this this word means nothing two months for just soon Ca double capital very no come on so so this is just a hilarious like miscommunication here uh, and they've done it before like they, they've got they've got people excited for no reason before um that when they do communicate they're not even very good at it is the is the other thing now i'll give them some leeway just because i know they are somewhat limited in what they can say by the fact that um their avatar stuff is a licensed product and you know they can more or less only announce stuff once it gets approved by nick viacom avatar studios whatever way you want to talk about it um but they also don't communicate with us well enough to explain those things so i don't feel it is a responsibility for us as fans to have to defend the company that is having bad communication that's on them to say to fans why stuff is or is not happening so um yeah still waiting still waiting i look forward to be able to come on and present massive news about a new Korra comic a new avatar comic but so often than not this year the news has been stuff like this of like oh this this book got a two week delay this book isn't a, isn't even listed anymore uh here's a little piece of merchandise and that's really it that's been most of this year even though we had at the start of the year arguably the biggest piece of news we've had in in the franchise history and um, avatar studios announcement but nothing has stemmed on from it really and that's been very frustrating to deal with just the fact that they haven't said anything both in terms of about avatar studios but then also about the publishing stuff that obviously links into it so we'll see what happens but uh yeah there's the video in the comments let me know what your thoughts are on all the news that we had here but also what do you think's going on with this how do you explain why they said this and it seems so positive like it's coming imminently but it just hasn't happened but that's been the video thanks for watching and bye